Hello Capricorn, welcome to your November 2019 reading. Thanks for joining me, my name is Michelle and this is for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs. Special welcome to my Apple Podcast listeners and Spotify listeners as well. Let's get started. Capricorn, I want to start with two Romance Angels cards to see what's coming towards you here for the month of November. What do we have coming towards Capricorn? What will Capricorn be dealing with in November for love and relationships, please, Spirit Guides, for Capricorn for November? For November 2019. Forgiving and learning. Okay, and let's get one more. And we have healing family issues. All right, forgiving and learning. As you release and heal the past, you'll experience more love in the present moments. Okay, so what I'm getting around this is that there's a family issue involved. It could be Capricorn that you're currently going through family issues it could be past family issues as well way back from childhood that need to be healed or you could be dealing with a person who's going through difficult family issues so let's see where this goes uh, a little bit of complicated energy around that but uh, we'll take a look at the bottom of the deck Capricorn we've got you as the Queen of Swords so it tells me that you're taking an objective view perhaps of, of your situation or of the person that you're dealing with situation when it comes to November and that hermit just wanted to jump out there I'm not going to take it but it tells me that you may be alone having to be alone because someone is going is dealing with a family issue okay a little bit of harsh energy there Capricorn but I think that you're you're forgiving them because you know that they have to to deal with a family issue uh, they may there may be children involved um, this person may be married they may be uh, committed elsewhere for November yeah I get that they they can't travel towards you because they are blocked because they are there's something that they have to deal with and for you you're I feel the energy around you is good. Uh, you you recognise that this person has to do this. Yeah, yeah. Uh, instinctively, even if it's unsaid, even if the words are not said, you understand. You understand what this person is dealing with. Okay. Some kind of link, psychic link. Let's see. We'll start with... One card signifying your energy. What is your challenge? What's at the root of this? What's crowning you? What's just going into the past now? What's heading towards you in the near future? How you're viewing yourself, Capricorn? Your external circumstances or how others are viewing you? Hopes and fears and the outcome. Okay, Capricorn. Well, we have your card here right in the center along with the two of pentacles they're both in reverse the devil and the two of pentacles yeah it is about release it's about extricating oneself from a difficult situation one where there is a codependence so this person may have children they may have a, a wife or a husband that they they can't just leave you know this person has uh, obligations so getting themselves outside of a, uh, picking up as a codependent energy, needing to make a choice, they have to make a choice. They may feel like they're restricted, that they don't have an option, that they're, they're dealing with this and they just have to kind of accept it or you have to accept it. Yeah, the Three of Swords. Hmm. So this person seems to be, they're hurting you because they can't, they can't get away from a family issue or family situation. 
I feel that this person's breaking your heart. Capricorn. Remember, this can be vice versa. The energies can flip out. It could be something that's just happened. It could be happening in the near future. Time is fluid and of course the energies can be, can flip out. So Capricorn, yeah, I, I do feel some harsh energy around this. Yeah, you, you want this person to come towards you. It, it's a very heartbreaking situation. The passion is there. I feel like this person wants to. They want to very much, but they can't. They they feel like they can't. I mean, now of course they can. I mean, this person has free will. They can get out of this, but they believe that they can't. They feel like they don't have any other option. So they feel like they they need to stay, or they need to to stay with this person. Or stay with this this family issue even though they don't want to now in the past what's coming we have the four of wands in reverse yes yeah, so a situation is delayed I get moving I'm relocating somebody may want to come towards you here Capricorn or you them but you can't move because they have to get out of a another situation before you can have this four of wands before you can move in together travel together delay delay yeah the five of pentacles tells me that this person's had to leave so they've come in rather quickly here you may have made plans perhaps to, to travel or to move in together but now they've gone They've gone back to this other situation and said that they need to heal this family issue. Hmm, okay. Yeah, not great energy. And, and of course, this has left you, Capricorn, feeling left behind, feeling rejected. So there's a lot of sadness around this, a, a very wintry, harsh, cold climate. So where there was passion and enthusiasm, there's now nothing. I feel mm. how are you viewing yourself the seven of cups in reverse so now you're seeing the reality of the situation before it was a lot of uh, daydreaminess uh, fantasy but now it's all kind of come crashing down here and, and you're starting to see things from a more realistic expectation and it is about the need to forgive this person because they've gone back to heal a family issue. Your external circumstances, the Nine of Cups and how others are viewing you. Well, you know, I think this person still wishes they, they could be with you. They've gone back to this other situation out of obligation. But this is the wish card. They're still wishing for uh, to be with you, uh, Capricorn. Your hopes and fears, the Page of Pentacles in reverse tells me that you're fearing that this is not going to get off the ground, that this is going to be a missed opportunity. You're hoping for a new beginning, a new start, something that you could build upon. It started with a lot of passion, a lot of enthusiasm, but now it's like reality has set in. You're trying to look at it objectively. You've, I feel that although you're, you're very hurt and there's a pain associated with this, you're forgiving this person because you re realize that they, they feel restricted, that they have to do this. You're forgiving and, and for you there's a question here of learning, learning from this situation. Okay, and we have the King of Swords as the outcome here. I'm going to get a card on this. Capricorn, you know, when it comes to you it speaks of being able to look at this objectively, but I actually am picking up on an intuitive level that this is the other person 
when I see this right in the center, that the roadblock to this whole relationship is this person needing to make a decision to free themselves from a codependent situation, a marriage, something like a marriage, maybe children involved, obligations, this person does seem to make a choice. They've made a decision. The King of Swords is someone who is fair, is just, and will do the right thing. You know, always acts with integrity. They may be someone of high standing, uh, intellectual energy that I'm picking up around this, someone who is making a logical choice, a decision based on common sense, of on reasoning and the facts. So that's what I'm picking up around this person. I want to get a clarifier on that King of Swords. What is this King of Swords deciding? What is this King of Swords deciding? Please clarify that King of Swords. Please clarify what the King of Swords is doing here in the outcome. Okay, I've got the Six of Cups in reverse and one more. Let's clarify what the King of Swords is doing here in the outcome. And the Ten of Wands in the reverse. Okay, so what I'm getting here, Capricorn, is this person has gone back in order to deal with some family issues, but I, I do feel that it's in it's in order to to clear the path so I don't think you know everything here this person may not be revealing that to you they may be keeping they may have left you behind here gone back to their family but I do think that what they're what they're going to do here is to deal with this this family issue and and, and wait uh, i get a, a waiting energy around this waiting for obligations to be lifted waiting for obligations to be lifted so there's something that this person needs to sort out around their family that's really all I can tell you at the moment here, Capricorn. Let's get a uh, an angel card. What does Capricorn need to hear with this reading? What does Capricorn need to hear about this reading? What does Capricorn need to hear? We have yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. It's telling me that that's correct that that assessment is correct that yes they have gone back to, to sort out the family issues I don't think you need to read any more into it than that it's about unburdening themselves from obligations so that they can make this choice make this decision they still want to be with you Capricorn let's get a card from the sacred traveler What does Capricorn need to hear for this reading, please? Message for Capricorn. Far away places. Yeah, I think that this you're at a distance from this person. They're traveling to you or you're traveling to them. It says get ready for new horizons. So I think that this person is going back to sort things out so that they can get ready to go on this trip or to, to travel towards you or you to them. That's what I'm picking up here, Capricorn. Oh, wow, okay, interesting, interesting. So a lot of uh, plans, a lot of things to take care of, but unfortunately you're, you're having to spend some time in this kind of heartbreaking situation where you are at a distance from this person for a time until they sort out these these family issues so capricorn i'm going to leave it there if you'd prefer a personal reading you can email me at gypsyinsights at gmail.com that email is also in the box below 
please uh, if you're watching here on YouTube please do check out the links below for my in-depth love readings for the month of November those are already out so please do check those out if you haven't already special thank you to my listeners on my podcasts please don't forget to like share and subscribe here on YouTube I thank you very much uh, Capricorn please do take care and bye for now